know, in production automation, well, gripping parts, well, that's really the core of it. But gripping parts, is, it's not as easy as it seems. Historically, force feedback systems, machine vision systems, have been a lot of complex technologies used to make sure that you could pick your part up without dropping it, but also not crush it. I'm with Carl Vossi, CEO of Soft Robotics. And Carl, I understand that you have a simpler solution to those very complex strategies I just talked about. Absolutely. So you just did a great summary as one of the biggest problems in robotic automation is picking the items, right? Integrations fail at the pick point is what we hear so often. And for years we've been trying to do this with complex mechanics, mechanical hands, a lot of sensors, a lot of feedback, and we've really struggled. And what's interesting is what's worked in automotive and electronics is not working today in these new markets of e-commerce, grocery, consumer goods, um, automation. And so what we've done is using the material science innovation of George Whitesides at Harvard is built open loop grasping system. And what happens when you have an open loop grasping system that's material based is I can now handle the widest range of objects without doing that programming, the machine vision, all the complexities you mentioned. And so what that's opened up is now if I'm a consumer goods manufacturing and I'm running hundreds of SKUs, I don't have to reprogram the robot. I don't have to tool change. I don't have to drive all that complexity in my system. Is we have customers that are using one end effector for hundreds of SKUs. And so it's completely opened up applications that, that weren't possible before. And really what we hear a lot of times from manufacturing engineers, system integrators that we work with, is I didn't bid on that consumer goods project or I didn't bid on that food project. With soft robotics, you can pick those parts and you can usually do it with a lot less complexity, just as you mentioned. And so handling the impossible items to handle, really opening up automation in these high SKU environments like food, consumer goods, bin picking, and logistics. Uh, Carl, in my experience, I've seen a lot of suboptimal gripping strategies used to avoid that complexity. Uh, one typically are vacuum grippers. Uh, in many instances, I see vacuum grippers used in conditions where ideally, you can see you'd really like a mechanical gripper, but it's just too difficult to integrate the thing. Is this a way possibly to simplify your strategy in automating your factory? A absolutely. So let's pick on something like uh, soft items, so bags. And the problem with things in bags is you have a pendulum effect, you, get, you have to get purchased, you can damage the labeling. You can't do that with a rigid grasper. And so traditionally when we're case packing bags, we've used vacuum grids. But what happens is just the sheer nature of vacuum of moving laterally as you throw the bags. And so you slow the rate down to where you can move the bag, but now I don't get ROI. I can't make my throughput. Using soft robotic systems is you get a fingered grasp on the bag. So you can move it at a high acceleration very quickly, run that system at rates that's going to get you the ROI. So you get the benefit of a fingered grasp, but you can do it with high speed very quickly and you're not struggling with vacuum. And that's exactly what we do with soft robotics is we're not out here saying, don't use vacuum, don't ri use rigid grasping. Those technologies have been successful because they're great technologies, but now you've got a third option. So when you're dealing with soft, squishy items, items that are easily damaged, whether they're bread rolls or frozen dough or pizzas, bags of food, bags of product, bags of liquid, are easily marked things, high value items like cosmetics, now you have an option that you can do that. You could do it at rate that makes your ROI and you don't have to worry about damaging the item. Now, Carl, you mentioned those soft, squishy things. Of course, the corollary of that is if I'm bin picking, that's my worst case scenario. Right. I've got things which have different conformations, different orientations at this point. Bin picking is already a difficult thing to do. You've got a gripper that can grab anything, but can your robot go in there and find anything? So that's, that's a great question. So bin picking has had a couple real limitations to it. One is collision avoidance. And so when we hear from our bin picking customers is, how do I get things out of the corners? Because if I'm trying to drive a suction cup, and I collide with the bin, I'm going to break the robot, I'm going to break the suction cup. If I'm using a two-finger grasper, the solution I have to have, usually there's one solution that's going to properly pick that item, a lot of complexity, a lot of computation, expensive, slow, never going to make great. With soft grippers, we use a vision system that looks into the bin and picks an item up like a human would. When you reach into a bin, you don't think about, am I at the center of gravity? Am I applying the right force to match the impedance of the object? No, you reach in and grab them out of the bin. And that's what we do with our 3D vision system, our path pointing software. It's customized for the benefit of soft gripping. So if it's in the corner, soft fingers can go interact with the bin. They can touch adjacent items in the bin without damaging it. And so once again, fundamentally changes what you can do in a 3D environment just like we do in a 2D environment. Carl Voss of Soft Robotics says radical simplification of your production automation process is possible with soft gripping.